Hi, Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. We have a little problem with a humidifier shutoff valve. It's been leaking at the stem. So when we shut it off or use it, it's been leaking out this handle. Now there's a little O-ring under this nut and sometimes we can just tighten that nut a little bit. That'll tighten the pack, the O-ring and it'll stop it from leaking. This valve is old and it also doesn't shut off well. So we're just going to let this baby go, but I'm going to show you how easy this can be. We shut the water off. We have a compression nut, quarter inch OD tubing, very, very, very standard. And this valve is a self-piercing valve. Not my favorite. Another issue I have with this valve is that it is pointing straight down. So what happens is, is calcium and any crumb that comes down the line lays on top of the valve and causes us issues. This particular valve was installed on the cold water line. When I have my brothers about this job, I put the valve under the, on the hot water and I put it near as possible to the hot water tank because humidifier is not drawing tons of water. So if you've put it on a hot water line too far away from the hot water tank, by the time it gets here, the little bit that the humidifier is calling for won't be hot. So you're best off right at the hot water tank. Usually it's nearby, so the closer the hot water tank, the better, and then the better this will work. Here's the old valve, and you're about to see the piercing. I pulled off the valve. The center stem of the valve stayed in the copper. You see it at a sharp point. It was designed to cut into the copper as the valve was clamped on to the copper pipe. So about the three ways we could do this. We could take, cut the copper and solder in a T and put a valve in a T, okay? You need to have a torch and ability to solder. We could solder in a T, that would be the best way. We also could use a compression T. Nice thing with compression is, there's rings in here and when you tighten the rings down, they clamp onto the copper and if they don't leak today, they're never gonna leak. So, and it'd be nice to have a ball valve on my humidifier, a quarter turn ball valve, a real valve, you know, with a port in it. Another way is with a push connect connector. Now these have O-rings in them. I'm not so wild about these. I think these are good for emergencies, but any plumber or handyman was gonna use this in my house, he'd be fired. Cause this is just a cheese ball, push on connector with an O-ring. And uh, they're good. Just, I'm old fashioned. I'm not liking them yet. I'm not going that way. If I have my choice, I'm gonna solder or compression on a T. So these are my two alternate methods. So those of you that aren't so handy and you're not gonna solder in, you're in Timbuktu, so you can't find a 7 8 compression or a 5 8 compression T because they're not easily had. They are where I come from, but they're not everywhere. So you're gonna take and just do it with the same little needle valve, piercing valve, like what we just took off. We're gonna line up the piercing point, get it in the hole good, so we're on center, and then we're gonna bolt it back to the pipe. Really pretty easy. The thing you have to be careful of is when you tighten the bolts, you tighten them evenly. So you don't get one bolt pulling this unit sideways, left or right. You tighten this one some, that one some. I want these two bolts tightened up evenly. We don't wanna be pulling one way or the other on the stem without knowing what's going on. Okay, we don't need to over tighten it. And let's see if we have a leak. There's a couple things I didn't like about the prior install. The fact that the valve pointed down, so crud coming down the pipe would get lodged into the valve. The other thing I don't like is using a metal ferrule on a plastic line. So what we do, we're getting rid of this. So we're using the new compression nut, we're putting the ferrule line. The fatter part of the ferrule goes against the nut. The taper is gonna go into the valve. And we have a stiffener, a little piece of brass that goes inside and gives the vinyl tubing a little more strength. So when we tighten it, it prevents the tubing from collapsing. We make sure we shove it all the way in the valve so it's seated properly. We tighten that too crazily. We can always tighten a little bit more if you over tighten it, it can take and pinch the tubing and ruin the whole job. Let's see how we did. There, perfect. 
system's on, no leaks, life is good. I'm gonna give it another little tiny crank. There we go. There. Settle valve removed, new one installed. Didn't take us five minutes.